All right, guys, the new removable and adjustable leg loops and leg buckles. So I've kind of fought back and forth with this on how I was gonna make these removable. And the problem was you can make the actual leg loops, the straps removable pretty easily, but then you still have this buckle flopping around on here. So the way I've decided to do it is with the same aluminum triglide from Austria Alpin from Cobra that I use on the Nader and Swader. You can now move this female buckle. You can adjust the distance of it up or down. You see how you can move that in that direction. Or you can take it completely off. And now you just have this triglide that remains. It's a little aluminum triglide from Cobra. And it remains right there on the back of the panel. So the only thing you would have is that triglide and the triglide that holds the straps on the bottom. Now to remove the leg buckle and the leg straps, you just remove one of the male buckles from the leg straps. and thread that through that same triglide that's on the bottom of the panel of the saddle. So now that will come out. And you have no leg loops and no buckles. And that little triglide will stay on the bottom of the panel. The other triglide will stay on, triglides will stay on the top panel. Let's remove this one too. Now that saddle only has the waist belt, the waist belt buckle and the D rings, and that's it. The big deal is making them adjustable because you can adjust the length of the buckle away from the D ring or farther from or closer to the D ring to keep it from interfering with the D ring or you can take them completely off and that's what your saddle will look like with it completely off. And they still hold weight well. So you're using the uh, a rated buckle on the leg straps, which is good, but if you're attaching those with a G-hook or some other type of flimsy attachment, then that becomes the weak point in your attachment system. And the rated buckle no longer does any good because it's only as strong as the thing holding it on. This is the same triglide that I use on the Nader and Swader that holds 350 pound guys off the ground, and it's not coming off there. I can pull on that as hard as I can, and it doesn't budge, it doesn't move, it doesn't work itself loose, it's just in there. So I threaded back, that back in, stick it back between the suspension, and now it's back on the inside of the saddle, right? All the saddles going forward will be made like this one, and it'll raise the price a little bit because I'm using more components and doing a little more work, but it's a pretty slick option, and any of you guys that have one already that want to send it back to get it made like this, it's really simple for me to do that. Uh, I don't have to cut your saddle apart or anything. I just have to cut some straps, fold them over, put the trigall in, sew it on, same at the bottom. So I can retrofit any saddle that has been bought previous to that being an option. Thanks, guys.